Okay, so here we have a uh, Winchester Wildcat. Um, this is pretty nice. Um, I shot it today and it shot pretty well. First thing we gotta do is weigh it. Let's see, we got four pounds, three ounces, or 67 ounces. Or one kilogram with 900 grams, four pounds, three ounces, right there. Um, so, as I said, I shot it and it shot pretty good. Um, it takes it, locks open. Let me see if I can show you real quick. Uh, that's the magazine, yeah. So yeah, it holds uh, the bolt open, and then you can send it home with this button right here. So you'll see, like so. You can release the magazine with this tap, or you can just pull both of these. And it ha it takes the Ruger 1022 um, mag pattern. I went ahead and bought these uh, two Ruger magazines for it, 1022 magazines, and it worked flawlessly um, with both the factory magazine and the the two Ruger 1022 magazines. Um, I shot the Aguila Interceptor, worked fine. I used the uh, arm score uh, 22 LR with the uh, factory magazine and these two I used with uh, um, Ruger uh, magazine 1022 magazines and this one is the CCI standard velocity um, all three cycled fine on the rifle um, let me show you how it look, looks like with the Ruger 1022 magazine just like that to me it looks very nice I like this how, how this rifle looks um, it has a Picatinny rail on the top and it has a Picatinny rail here on the bottom where you can mount laser or light or laser light combo and here you got a a red dot, just one of those cheap red dots, worked fine today at the range. I didn't sight it in because I I was kind of short on time, but yeah. And then you got the safety right here. And then next, I'm going to show you how to field strip because um, the whole um, carrier group and trigger everything comes out this is to hold the bolt up open this thing right here this tab um so yeah let me show you how to break it down real quick and clean it well not clean it i'm gonna do that off camera but uh here we go let's take the magazine out like that and then it has this button right here let me see if I can find something to press it with. Let's see if this works. Press it. By the way, the firearm has been cleared prior to um prior to shooting the video. This one should work pretty nicely. Oh, come on, man. What the? There we 
we go. So it's coming out. And there we go. So the whole thing comes out like so. This thing rotates so you don't have to take it out. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna clean it and then I'll put it back together. All you gotta do is clean this part. You can take this thing like that. Take it apart like that. Just clean in there and run a, a snake or something through the barrel. I'm gonna do that now and then I'll come back and show you how to reassemble it. Okay, so what I did was uh, wipe all of this down, this part too, and then you can use a, a rod and you can slide it just like through the hole here and through the barrel. Yeah, I'm just using a little piece of cloth at the end of it. So you go through it a few times. I ain't gonna do that because I cleaned it not too long ago. I just shot it and then, um, and then uh, I shot it not, I mean, I cleaned it not too long ago, then I shot it, and it, it was pretty oily, so I just wipe it down now, and it'll come out pretty clean. Okay, now to assemble it all together, see if I can do this correctly. So, you got this part and this part, just um, put this one... Let me see, like that. Then just slide it there, like so. And then you see this tab right here, it's gonna go in here. So you wanna move this to the up position and slide it in. Let's see go and start working it and that's it ready to go yeah something you would not see me doing to this rifle is shooting it shooting it in the sense of grabbing another rifle and shooting this one I would never do that um, I bought it for 150 bucks and I believe is a hell of a bargain. Really, it's very fun. It shot fine. Um, takes 1022 mags. Oops, wrong way. 1022 mags. That's a beauty, man. I wouldn't shoot it. There you go. Nice little rifle. 1022 rifle. Winchester Wildcat. Next, I'm going to show you the range video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching. P365, uh, the year SAS model, in a, in a ported barrel yeah. on it, yeah. and she's but not a real big fan of it. This one's not ported, just have light, what they call light. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, she doesn't mind the sights, but the, the, the porting on it, uh, she, she just, you know, that small of a gun, I mean, I, I did, I understand the, the reasoning behind it, yeah. but uh, she just is, is, is not, not a big fan of it, so she, uh, uh, I don't know if she gets out with it much, or, uh, 
I told you, you know, sometimes you come across one that, that Try it. Just, just, just isn't your cup of tea. Yeah, that's true. Trigger uh, with, with this style. Yeah, and this one here is supposed to have their because it comes with four mags. It comes with a bunch of different back straps. Uh -huh. It's supposed to be their kind of like their out of the box competition pistol. Right. And it works pretty good. Yeah. Um, the trigger, they did an upgraded trigger. They upgraded the springs in it. It went through uh, Smith and Wesson's custom shop. Uh huh. What it do? Those things are so. Uh, it's just, yeah, every time it's just like, yeah. <laughs> 